Hallelujah. I just want to greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, my name is Nancy. I just want to share uh, just um, something um, that really encouraged me. Um, of late, I've been, um, I mean, this past week, I've been listening to Oceans and uh, the Holy Spirit started ministering to me as I kept uh, playing it on repeat. Uh, the song Oceans uh, uh, by Hilsa. Um The song is reflective of um, what we read in uh, Matthew uh, chapter 14. Um, at the time when Jesus walked on water and, uh, and uh, Peter also walked on water. So I'm going to quickly read uh, from Matthew chapter 14 from verse 23. It says, and after he had dismissed the multitudes, he went up to the hills, that is Jesus, by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was still there alone. That's important. He went up the hill to pray by himself, not uh, with, the, with the disciples. He wanted to spend time with his daddy. He wanted to spend that quality time in the secret place with daddy. And the boat, but the boat was by this time out on the sea, many furlongs uh, distance from the land beaten and tossed by the webs for the wind was against them and in the fourth watch between 3 and 6 a.m of the night jesus came to them walking on the sea jesus was walking on water and when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost. And they screamed out with fright. But instantly he spoke to them, saying, Take courage, I am. Another virgin says, It is I. Take courage, I am. Stop being afraid. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water and he said come so peter got out of the water of the boat and walked on the water and he came towards jesus but when he perceived and felt the strong wind he was frightened and as he began to sink he cried out lord save me from death instantly jesus reached out his hand and caught him and held him saying to him all ye of little faith why did you doubt and when they got into the boat the wind seized so we have a situation where the disciples had already left in the boat but jesus was um they left jesus behind he was in the secret place he was praying and when he came, he, Jesus walked in water and he, 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 they, they, they realized that Jesus suddenly was there. And they actually thought that uh, it was a ghost and um, they were very afraid. But um, he said, do not be afraid, it is I, you know. And, um, and um, when Peter, Peter being Peter, he said, if it is you, Lord, bid me to come allow me to come and he said come and um he started walking towards jesus on water but mind you um um there was um the wind was against them and there were waves beating on the boat and when when the moment peter started walking towards water to, towards jesus it was okay he was walking on water he was facing he was focusing on jesus but the moment he had the wind and the waves coming he was distracted and he, he, he focused on uh, uh the, the 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 waves coming and suddenly he was scared the moment he was scared he started sinking why because he had lost focus he had been been distracted and the moment he was distracted he started to sink you know so um, you know it is important for us to focus on Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith you know in this season you know where the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is more eminent than ever before we need to spend time in the secret place 
We need to tame, spend more time in the secret place. We need to be able to hear his voice. We need to make sure that we don't have so many things distracting us. There are so many things. We can be distracted by social media. We can distract, be distracted by the TV. We can be distracted by what is happening in the world today. But I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, let us focus on Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. Let us not allow all these things, these troubles of the world, to distract us from focusing on him. So anyway, if we look at, I mean, probably if it was me, I would have stayed in the boat, you know. But Peter was brave. And he, he said, if it is you, bid me to come. He started walking and well, he, 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 he lost focus because of, uh, you know, fear of the waves that were uh, 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 coming. And um, then Jesus held his hand. So I just want to encourage you, let us not lose focus in this season. So I was saying that, as I was listening to this song, you know, the Holy Spirit started to minister me, to, to minister to me, um, saying that, you know, in this season, I should ask him to lead me where my trust is with that border. You know, what does it mean, you know, trust with that border? Trust with that border is when I will release all control of my life. You know, it is, I mean, as human beings, we want to take charge of our lives. We want to be in control. But in this season, my brother, my sister, I just want to encourage you to release all your control to him. No limits. You don't have areas of my life, of your life, of my life also, where I say, you know, Jesus, you can take charge of this, but, the, but as, 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 when it comes to my finances, don't you dare go there. When it comes to my relationship, don't you go there. No, we need to trust him totally. And in this season, you know, don't allow distractions to make you lose focus. In this season, we need to totally obey him. The word of God tells us in Psalms, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct um, your paths. So we need to have total trust. We need to be ready to step out. You know, to, 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 to follow the instructions, to do what he will be instructing us to do. Stepping out is scary, especially when you don't know what you, where, where, where you are going. We, 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 as human beings, we want God to tell us, oh, you, I want you to do this, then that, that, then you're going to go there. But God will not necessarily tell you, give you all the instructions, tell you, show you the whole picture. But we need to trust him. We need to trust him totally. We need to obey him. You know, the only borders that we should have are, should be the clear parameters of the scriptures. Whatever we have to do, you know, has to be premised on the scriptures. What do the scriptures say about this that I am about to do? We need to be ready to step out. After all, you know, we are serving a God who knows us. I'm serving a God who knows me by name. God even knows my nickname. You know, he is. There is nothing that happens in my life that, in your life that comes to him as a surprise. Before I was even conceived in my mother's womb, he knew all my story from start to from start to finish, where I was gonna get stay, who was gonna marry me, uh, whatever, where I was gonna go to the university, everything he knew that. He is Jehovah El Roy, he is a God who sees me every time his eyes are on me. So I need to trust him. He is Jehovah Shalom, he is my peace when I am faced by storms. He is the omniscient God. He is all-knowing. He knows everything. So why can't I trust him? He is the omnipotent God. He is all-powerful. He says, I'm the Lord your God. Is there anything too difficult for me? He is omnipresent. He is present everywhere at any one time. He is here with me right now. And his word says to me, 
You know, I will never leave you, you know, forsake you, but I will always be with you up to the uttermost ends of the end. So why don't I trust him? Why don't you trust him, my friend? I encourage you to trust him. You know, I just want to finish by looking at the, 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 the lyrics. You will love the lyrics of Oceans. You know, but I, I like the, 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 the especially the, um, the chorus. But some of the words that are said in that song is that your sovereign, ho your sovereign hand will be my guide. Your hand, your sovereign hand, my God, will be my guide in my life. Where feet may fail and fear surround me. You have never failed and you won't stop now. Your hand will guide me where my feet may fail and fear surround me. Your hand, your sovereign hand will always surround me. His sovereign hand will surround you, my friend. He will steady you up when you are about to fall. He has never failed and he won't stop now. When, he, when, when, when you are struggling, just call upon his name. You know, and just keep your, your, your focus above the, web, the waves so that you don't get distracted. When oceans rise, you know, my soul should rest in his embrace. When trials come, when struggle comes, I choose to stay. My soul chooses to stay in his embrace. So the lyric says that, 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 that my best, that, um, that I like is, Spirit lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet will ever wander. And my faith will made, be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. So I am saying, God, in this season, Lord, I want to have a deeper relationship with you. I want to have a more intimate relationship with you. I don't want to scratch the surface kind of relationship with you. I want to spend more time in your presence. I want to please you. I want to live a life that pleases you. So friends, I trust this has encouraged you. Please let us stay focused on him. Let us not allow distractions to affect our relationship with him. Let us spend more time in the secret place. Let's hear him, his voice clearly, his instructions clearly. But that will only happen when you and me spend time in the secret place. God loves you, my friend. I love you, but he loves you even more. Let us continue to seek his face. Have a wonderful day wonderful day. Amen.